Having out of competition in a particular domain usually means that at some point you will end up with the best product for a competitive price. Therefore, it's a good thing to have new players enter the market. Meet the Air Cooler 210, Montag's first step into the CPU cooler market. This episode is brought to you by CDKeyOffers.com. CDKeyOffers has a wide variety of software or game keys for a fraction of their usual retail price. You can get your usual PC game codes or even library codes for things like Steam, Uplay and Origin. But the most important part for us are the software codes. Here we can get software activation codes for things like MS Office or Windows 10 for a ridiculously cheap price. And right now you can also use the promo code TS20 to get a 20% discount to make the already cheap Windows 10 license even cheaper. If you want to get that nasty activation message away, make sure to head down to the links in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TS20 for a 20% discount. So this is the Montec Air Cooler 210. According to Montec, this single tower cooler with 6 copper heat pipes and a big copper block underneath is rated to be cooling at least 210 watts TDP. And that is also probably where the name is from. Being 153mm high, 130mm wide and 99mm long places this cooler in the mid-tower category while being slightly bigger than a B-Quade Pure Rock 2 in every direction. For the heat dissipation, Montec is using an unnamed in-house made fan capable of spinning at 1500 RPM while pushing 73 CFM and yelling at 27 dB. Unfortunately, there is no mention about the air pressure, so we will have to rely on our benchmarks. Inside of the box of mounting hardware, we will find the usual Intel and AMD bag of installation material, an RGB controller, as well as the thinnest thermal paste tube I have ever seen. Additionally to the needed fan clips, Montec also includes an additional pair in case you want to run this cooler in a push-pull configuration. Nice. Although I find it a bit odd as Montec is not offering the same fan, like, at all. When it comes to compatibility, Montec made sure to cover every LGA 1150, 1366, 2011-3, 2066 as well as the new LGA 1200 socket for Team Intel. On AMD's side, they went surprisingly far with support for the latest Ryzen AM4, AM3 and all of the others until the old FM1 socket. The top of the cooler is covered with a clean looking block with a black brushed aluminum like finish and a discreet usage of the Montec logo. Pretty hidden inside of the styrofoam at the bottom of the box, Montec includes a screwdriver mandatory for the installation process. And of course RGB. But before we talk about the performance and all, let's go over the installation. 14 Blue on the LGA 1200, 1150X and 3066 socket, we have to take the provided backplate, shove the Intel screws through it and hold them in place by clipping the plastic screw holder thingies onto them. After positioning it where it is supposed to be, we can place the spacers on top followed by the retention brackets and screw everything down with the thumb screws. For AMD, we simply have to remove the pre-installed retention brackets, put the spacers on there with the new retention brackets on top in an inwards pointing position and screw it down. For here it's the same for both platforms. Apply some thermal paste, place the cooler on top with one screw being accessible immediately and the other one after removing the outer screw from the top level of the heatsink and of course don't forget to clip the fan back on. So all in all it's an interesting cooler. Because it's slightly shifted to one side, the fan which should be installed on the other side will never protrude beyond the socket making this a 100% RAM compatible cooler, which is nice. The addition of a RGB controller is also nice to see. Most people won't need it, but for those few who do, they will have a pretty great day. The RGB implementation is okay-ish? You are able to see the RGBs in the fan, but Montec did a pretty good job hiding them by placing them at the very end of the fan onto the motor PCB. When it comes to performance, I have to say I started out with pretty high expectations. Six copper heat pipes and a pretty thick heatsink are quite impressive, but let's immediately look at the results. We used the Montec Air Cooler 210 on top of our usual bench table, where at 100% fan speed, the cooler managed to keep the CPU at 87 degrees C just like a pure rock 2. Slowly decreasing the fan speed in 10% increments let the air 210 slowly overtake the pure rock 
while even approaching many coolers which had a head start. So from a performance standpoint, it is performing exactly like a Pure Rock 2 at full speed and slightly better with slower speeds. But I am still very disappointed. Not only does the air cooler have two heat pipes more than the Pure Rock, it is also quite a lot bigger in every direction and most importantly, it is significantly louder. And turning down the fan speed does not really help much with that. Normalizing the results by noise just confirmed these results with the Air Cooler 210 only being a good performer while comparing it to the original AMD Wrath Prism. It's quite a sad result. Comparing the Air Cooler 210's heatsink with the other ones we had so far does not really make sense with these results. With the amount of heat pipes and overall size, it should have performed a lot better, but it just didn't. I'm not sure what doesn't work in there, but something just doesn't. That being said, credit where credit is due. The quality is pretty good, nothing to nag there, and the included RGB controller is a great little addition. On the RGB, you either like it or you don't, I will leave that up to you. But on the negative side, the performance and noise just doesn't make sense when looking at the cooler size. And if this would have been a extreme budget cooler, it would have been fine. But the Air Cooler 210 is going for 59 euros or 59 dollars. And that is just way too much compared to the market. For that price, you can get a Freezer 50, which will dominate in every situation. The bottom line is, for a Ryzen 5800X or 11700K and everything beneath, the cooler will work just fine. And if that top plate design is what you are going for, then you will be fine too. But there are just many better performing and better priced coolers out there. Okay, so that was my take on the Montec Air Cooler 210. At this point, I would like to thank Montec for reaching out to us and sending one of them over. Of course, I will leave all the manufacturer and affiliate links down in the description below if you want to have a look at it. That being said, Montec also sent over one of their budget-friendly PC cases, the X3 Mesh. A case that is pre-filled with 3140 and 3120mm case fans. Not bad. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.